Hello and welcome to the forest. We're going to explore the tallest trees on earth, the coastal redwood tree. The different parts of the tree, including the seeds, roots, bark, and leaves contribute to the redwood's resilience. And we'll discover how multiple redwood trees are even stronger when they're together in the face of change. Take a look at this tomato. Now take a look at the tomato seed. The size of this tomato seed is about the same size as a redwood tree seed. In each redwood cone, there are several seeds that could potentially lead to a seedling. However, redwood germination does not always happen from the cone seeds. Often new sprouts can amazingly grow out of stumps of redwood trees or even from the root systems, which allows for the new sprouts to get nutrients from the already established trees. Now onto the redwood tree shallow roots, which are only about five or six feet below ground, but they extend out laterally, about a hundred feet from the base. The roots often intertwine with other redwood tree roots, which make the trees less likely to be disturbed from heavy winds or floods that may threaten their survival. Now moving up from the roots, we get to the bark. The bark is really thick, about two to three feet thick, which increases the tree's resistance to fire, which may help in California wildfire season and future climate change impacts. In addition to the redwoods resistance to fire, they are also known to have a great resistance from insects, and this may be from a chemical called tannin, which gives the bark a bitter taste. Imagine a time when you may have bitten into a piece of chocolate that tastes too bitter. This may be similar to what insects experience when they take a bite out of the redwood tree bark. Next from the bark, we move on to the branches and now to their leaves. Their leaves are helpful in the photosynthesis process, which produces oxygen for other living things like you and me. Redwood trees also store carbon in their leaves, barks, roots, and surrounding soil that would otherwise have been in the atmosphere. Each redwood tree creates some oxygen and stores some carbon, but imagine the magnitude of these trees when they're all working together in the redwood forest. All of these parts come together, from the roots below the soil to the bark to the leaves of this tree. They are not alone in the redwood forest, but are coexisting with animals and other plants. A redwood forest often consists of a variety of ferns, other trees like big leaf maple, and animals like banana slugs. The diversity of the redwood forest is what makes it so strong, and this all helps with the diversity of habitat, food sources, and resistance to threats. Reflect on the strength of not just one redwood tree, but of a redwood grove. These trees help you and me as human beings and other living organisms on this planet by collecting carbon in the air and providing oxygen. These trees also help each other from the ground up with their roots. They have done all of this and more as the tallest trees on the planet, all from their humble beginning of being the size of a tomato seed.